Hey Mila, it's been a while since I've read you a story, so I'm going to send you a couple. This one is called A Seed is Sleepy. Ooh, look at all the different seeds. They have names for all of them too. Um, there's a pumpkin seed and um, papaya and strawberry seeds and Texas Barberry Seeds, Cocoa de Mer Palm Seeds, a Swamp Palm. There's a lot more here. Maybe your mommy can show you which ones are which. Some are for flowers and some are for trees and some are for other plants. A seed is sleepy. It lies there, tucked inside its flower, even its cone or beneath the soil, snug and still. A seed is secretive. It does not reveal itself. <clears throat> it does not reveal itself too quickly. Most seeds sleep through a season or two, waiting for the warmer temperatures of spring, but some take their time. Ten years might pass before the bright red orange seed of the Texas mountain laurel shows its purple blooms. That's a long time, 10 years. A seed is fruitful. 90% of plants on earth are flowering plants. Flowering plants produce fruits, fruits of all shapes and textures that keep the seeds cozy until they found the right place to grow. A seed is naked. Yes, naked. Scientists call gymnosperms, seeds that aren't clothed in fruits, naked seeds. Most naked seeds hide themselves on the scales of cones until, they ready, the, until they're ready to make a dash for the ground. So who would guess that a seed as small as a freckle would grow into the world's tallest tree? Only 10% of redwood trees begin as seeds, though. Most redwood trees spring from existing trees. Seeds come in many sizes. The orchid seed is the smallest of all. There might be a million seeds in one pod. The seed of the coco de mer palm is the largest, and it can weigh up to 60 pounds. That's more than you, Mila. A seed is adventurous. It must strike out on its own in search of a less crowded place to put down roots. A parachute of fine, silky hairs can take a dandelion seed a hundred miles from its plant, parent plant. Drift seeds float on ocean currents from one shore to another. They have enough air inside to help them float, and their thick protective shells keep out seawater. A seed is inventive. To find a spot to grow, a seed might leap from its pod, or cling to a child's shoestring, or tumble through a bear's belly. A seed hopes to land where there is plenty of sunlight, soil, and water. A seed is generous. It gives the baby plant or embryo a seed coat to keep it warm. So first it's um, in a bean plant, the seed in two days starts to sprout and you can see that um, it gets bigger and bigger and after five weeks you have a bean and then there's rice. Rice takes about four months to grow and a pumpkin also takes about four months to grow into a pumpkin and then a pine tree can take 15 years to grow fully and a teak seed can take a year. The embryo's first meal comes from its seed leaves, or cotyledons. Seeds with one seed leaf, like corn, are called monocots. Seeds with two seed leaves, like beans, are called dicots. Some seeds are ancient. Not all seeds are eager to germinate. Some have lain dormant or slept undisturbed for more than a thousand years. 
the oldest known seed to sprout from an extinct date palm tree after it was unearthed from a long-ago king's mountaintop palace in Israel. A scientist planted it, and four weeks later it sprouted. A seed is thirsty and hungry, and once a seed has shed its coat, it drinks the rain, the dew, and yesterday's icicles. It feasts on minerals in the soil. Part of the seed, or the root, feels the tug of gravity and digs down deep. Another part of the seed, the shoot, is sensitive to light, so it reaches for the sun. It's a corn plant. A seed is clever. It knows to seek the sunlight, to push itself up, 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 through the soil. But it must wait a while before that begins. Plants make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Inside plant leaves are cells containing chemicals that absorb the sunlight, and the light gives them energy that they need to turn to water and carbon dioxide, a gas in the air, into food. The seed is sleepy, but only until it has found a place in the sun and it has had its breakfast and a drink of water. Then a seed is awake. This grew into a sunflower. And there's all the flowers that the seeds can grow into. Flowers, trees, and um, fruit and things. Love you, Mila.